Hello everyone, already all set for your vocabulary class and if you are set, we are set too, there with you and continuing with our root section, your doubts, your confusions, another feedback, a very interesting one. You would also like to hear such incidents that I like to share with you. I got a feedback from a student, ma'am you said Greg. Uh, let me write it, that will be good for you. And I also open up my uh, root section for this. Huh. So I was coming up to the doubt, the student come, came up with the doubt that ma'am Greg means group, right? You said gregarious or you said segregate, aggregate, congregate, so many words coming up with the root Greg. She is very gregarious, means she is very fond of being in a group, very social, very extrovert, very mixing, a sociable person, a person who is ready, very friendly and amiable or amicable. Now taking up the root, it may say a different ayah. Egregarious. This is a kind of something which is extremely bad thing, something which is really bad and kind of an error that is committed. Although there was, there is once in a blue moon, there are some words which do come up, which once in a blue moon I said and they do not sometimes match to the root. But you know, when you have thought of something positive, positive works. And this is what an answer that I am giving you. Of course, you say egregious is something bad, so it could be an error which is committed by majority or a group. You may have a point to say, ma'am, you are just linking it. Maybe we take your words, I am just linking it, but it is linking. See, I said out of 100 words, maybe 5 words, it does happen, so once. So, you could do that, but if you want to, I would even link that. So, your doubts are still welcome. I will take all your feedbacks and I would do answer you. If I have not have that patience, maybe I was stuck, so I was not able to, I would surely answer it. Moving on to our uh, things, let us erase this first. because we will start afresh with our new root. Yeah, the root lord. Now see this root lord, the word root lord means to praise. You must have all heard the word applaud. There was a loud cheering, clapping, you know, people, when do people clap and when do people cheer up? When they like something, you know, you liked a song of Lata Mangeshkar, so it will be loud, applaud, this is applaud, right? This is applaud, this is clapping loudly and this clapping because you are praising someone. Now the word lord, laudable or lauditory are interconnected words. Lord is to praise highly, especially publicly, you know, you make an announcement, you use the word, see the root, eulogize. You appreciate, you praise, you talk positive about someone, uh, commendable, you talk positive, right? This is, I have not taken any of the dictionary words, no Google search words. The word Lord, so you are praising very highly publicly. The teacher lauded the student because of his performance as he came out in flying colors in CLAT. Yes, that is Lord. Then we have the word is laudable, praiseworthy. Do works that are laudable or lauditory. <coughs> this is also used in the tone of the passage. When you are doing the tone of the passage, this is one of them. The tone of the passage of the writer is <coughs> laudatory. That is, he is expressing praise, he is appreciating the thing. This is an appreciation, a critical appreciation. Just oppose it to the word, would be your tone is cynical. This is an antonym for the word. 
right. So, you this is more pes optimistic and this is more pessimistic. Have you understood this route? Yes. So, you would also applaud for the things and remember the word laudatory and the synonyms of the word that is talking positive, commendable, eulogize from the root eu which means good and elogy which means speech, right. So, simple to remember, eulogize, right. So, let us move on to the next, any doubt or confusion, please do write to Taking up the next slide in this, that is again with the word lord, you can see. L A U D or L A D, right. So, the word plaudits is praising and applause. So, it is a synonym for the word applause the same, clapping for someone, you know, expressing your applause. You know, have you heard this word encore? Framed by two words en and core. This is encore, this means a repeated performance. Why I am giving you this? If you are wondering, encore is to applaud, it is a sequence relation. Encore a repeated performance when you would have, when would you ask for a repeated performance? Only when you like something, you appreciate that, that is encore, right. So, you praise that thing and it is a repeated performance. Then the second word, a cloud, that is an honor, an award or a privilege given because the person has done something very good. He was applauded by the president, by the chief guest. Adulation is extreme praise, too much of praise. That is a degree higher, too much of praise, that is excessive praise or admiration, adulation. Your selection will lead to adulation. Many students ask me in the, I forgot, I do that. They ask me to make up a sentence simultaneously of each and every word. So, I would do that. Turning back to my <laughs> slide because it just skipped out of my mind. Um, making up a sentence with applaud, the audience applauded the performance of the singer. Do works that are laudable or laud. The tone of the passage was laudatory. You can make your sentence, you can write to me, I will check it, right. His plaudits made his family proud. He was applauded by the chief guest. You would get extreme, uh, you would get adulation and a lot of uh, you know popularity by your selection, a lot of photographs, photographs, newspaper, you know highlight, focus, everything, just one selection and your victory, fingers crossed, yes, it is there. Moving on, next I think that is clear, fixed in your mind, yes, this mind is you know having a natural screenshot, natural scanner we have, God gifted, so do utilize it. So, when we say, <coughs> when we say the word L-A-U-D, that means something which is praise, something which is appreciating or something which is you know doing something which is commendable or praiseworthy, right, okay. Moving on to the next one. It is a very simple route, pyrophobia, pyromania, pyrotechnics, pyro, apne, uh, crackers, all the crackers were you know banned this Diwali, but pyrotechnics are those fire crackers and he is having a pyrometer that is to measure the temperature, you know we have fever, so that is the same, that is a, that's a condition when a person is suffering from very high fever, the temperature, the body is burning like fire, right, very high temperature. So, taking up the word and the root pyre, that is fire, pyre is the woods heap for burning a dead body as a funeral, right? Right? Pyre, we could have the, see this word can be linked with various words. If I say marriage pyre, it is not compulsory I say this or I could say is funeral pyre, 
right? So, marriage pyre would be the uh, uh, burning of that heat in the woods for marriage, tying of knots, the epithalamy in the Greek word that I gave you, or the funeral pyre would be for that kind of a condition when the body is burned, the funeral rites are performed, that is funeral pyre. Pyromania and uncontrolled desire to set fire to things. See, this is the root mania, a subsidiary root which means madness. This is also called obsession. Obsession about something that is mania. So, when I add it to it phobia, it would mean fear. So, if you have pyrophobia, you are afraid of fire. Pyromancy is a divination of divine words. Se dekhe. Divine is godly by fire of flames. Kuch cheez ko purify karna by flames. You know, you've heard anything that you burn in fire, it becomes purified, right? So, <coughs> burn all your uh, desires, burn all your uh, you know, greed and avarice, and you'll shine and glow. That is the word here, pyromancy. Pyrotechnics is a device with an explosive with colored flames, jo mein aap se baat kari thi. simple word likhu to mein firecrackers or simply crackers which we burn during Diwali. So, her marriage pyre, her marriage pyre turned into funeral pyre when she became a victim of the dowry uh, culprits, right. Pyromania, <coughs> various um, uh, invaders who had attacked over India were having pyromania. Pyromancy can purify human soul. Sentence that you have asked me, that I am doing. Pyrotechnic is a device with an explosive with colored flames. People use pyrotechnics during Diwali and various occasions and functions. That is clear, true everyone, ok. Everything written down related to pyre and so you would not have any pyro. Phobia. You have to get that, see, although I am not going away from the track, you have to have that fire in you, that fire, that glow, that desire, that curiosity, that vivaciousness, that larky attitude in you, that yes, I have that bubbly and chirpy attitude, I want to do something in life. That vivaciousness is going to lead you to crack that, nothing else. Turning to the next word, pyrolysis. This is transformation of a substance produced by the action of heat. Aap isme transformation. See, we have three uh, forms of matter, solid, liquid and gas. So, accordingly, we change it into the forms that is pyrolysis. Yes. So, you transform the substance by acting or producing it into heat. Pyrolysis was done in the laboratory. Pyraxia is a rise in the temperature of the body as a talking of very high fever. And anti is against, not in favor of pyrotic. It's a medicine that relieves the pain and healing of burns. Somebody has bodies got burned because of the firecrackers, and you apply this medicine, this ointment, and this would be working against fire. So it's against fire. So it cures the burns related to fire. It has a curing effect. Right? It cures the body from all the burns that have happened to the body. So, that will be antipyretic. When we have this uh, root, we have some more roots coming up uh, with this related to roots. So, I will continue with this in the next class. This, there are some more words with this and then we will be doing the another route for this. Please do write to us and please do share all your views and comments. Do not forget to like and subscribe us. Law Prep is the channel, Law Prep's channels on YouTube and all those things are really very enhancing for your CLAT preparation. Thank you.